10 foods that have almost zero calories. Who doesn't like eating food and not gaining weight, right? I mean, that's everybody's goal, right? But when you're on a weight loss journey, it can be really difficult to lose the weight. You try your best to eat less, you exercise more, but you're super hungry all the time and the scale just doesn't move. The good news is, is that there are foods that have almost zero calories. Really? Really, really. In this video, we have compiled our top 10 foods that have almost zero calories. So if you're looking to eat more without gaining weight, stay tuned and make sure you watch to the end. Starting with shirtake noodles. Now you can have your favorite pasta dish totally guilt free. Shirtake noodles are a miracle food that have literally almost zero calories, but are very, very filling. It has only 11 calories for every 100 grams and zero net carbs. Shiitake noodles are unique because they contain a fiber called glucomannan, okay? So gluco glucomannan acts as a dietary fiber, which means our body does not break it down to use as energy. This makes shiitake noodles extremely low in calories and carbs. In fact, it contains 97% water and 3% fiber. Shiitake noodles keep you full for a longer period of time as it moves through your digestive system very, very slowly, thus making you eat less in the long run. It's no doubt a powerful weight loss tool. You can find these noodles in most grocery stores, but more than likely, just Google your most local Asian grocery and you'll find them in the refrigerated section. Number nine on our list is Slim Rice. So Slim Rice is very similar to the shiitake noodles. So slim rice and shiitake noodles come from East Asia, okay? And they're both made around the same things, okay? They're both low fat, very low carbs, almost zero calories. Slim rice has only nine calories for every 100 grams. This rice can make you feel fuller as they are an excellent appetite suppressant. Slim rice is also easy to prepare. It can be boiled, steamed, or even microwaved. It can be an ideal option for health conscious consumers. Slim rice is 97% water and 3% glucomannan, so it's gonna look like rice, but it's not gonna taste exactly like rice. However, you can still make it into a delicious dish. If you like what you're hearing so far and you like this content, make sure you like the video, comment down below, and subscribe. Number eight on the list is everyone's favorite fruit, watermelon. So we all love fruit and summers are just not the same without a big juicy piece of watermelon. But did you know the first recorded watermelon harvest occurred nearly 5,000 years ago in Egypt and they were often placed in the burial tombs of Egyptian kings to nourish them in the afterlife. This bright red colored fruit is another great example of an almost zero calorie food with only 30 calories for every 100 grams. Watermelon is also high in lycopene, and because watermelon has an extremely high water content, eating it will leave you feeling full without adding many calories to your diet. Watermelon is low in fat and calories, so make sure you eat up this summer guilt-free. Number seven is celery. We often hear about the benefits of consuming celery juice. Remember like a couple years ago, like celery juice was like the new thing, okay? But did you know that consuming celery raw had even greater benefits? Consuming it whole will give you almost zero calories and way more fiber, providing only 16 calories and 1.5 carbs for every 100 grams. Celery is also a good source of vitamin K, potassium, vitamin C, and manganese. It has a high water content also, which contributes to the low calorie count and makes them an ideal food for weight loss. Celery can be eaten in salads, eaten as a snack, with hummus. You can even add a little bit of peanut butter to it and make yourself a post-workout snack. Number six on the list, and one of my favorite fruits, and people don't really know this as a fruit, but cucumbers. So cucumbers are versatile, refreshing, and making them a great addition to any meal. They're also low in calories with only 15 calories for every 100 grams of raw cucumber. Cucumbers have a high water content, which contributes to their low calorie count. Cucumbers also contain fiber, vitamin K, B6, as well as magnesium and potassium. The fiber in cucumbers promotes fullness, so you'll eat less at your next meal. If you're trying to share pounds but don't want to give up the crunchy snacks altogether, consider adding some slices of cucumber into your diet instead. And of course, cucumbers can be turned into pickles, which are also very low in calories as well. One of my favorite snacks is actually cucumbers mixed with a little bit of Italian dressing. Tastes really good. Number five on the list is greens powder. So 
Greens powder make it very easy to increase your veggie intake without actually eating a bunch of vegetables. If you're not a vegetable fan, but still wanna get the health benefits of green vegetables, try adding a greens powder supplement to your diet. Greens powder is made from green vegetables like kale and spirulina, and sometimes you can add fruit in it as well that has been dried into a superfood powder. You can add it to juices and smoothies or drink it with water. These green drinks suppress your appetite, so you end up eating less. Also, you'll feel fuller for longer while easily increasing your veggie intake. One serving of green veggies is usually around about 30 calories. And of course, we have the best tasting green powders around. So if you haven't already done so, go check out Her Nutra Powdered Green. This is our newest flavor. This is our strawberry watermelon flavor. So you're gonna get that same tartness and sweetness as strawberry watermelon with all the vitamins and minerals from a serving of vegetables. So head to hernutra.com and check it out. Number four on the list is actually diet soda. Now diet soda gets a bad rap because of the artificial sweeteners. You have a bad reputation in the chicken community. However, most recent studies show that sweeteners like aspartame and sucralose are actually perfectly fine to have. Now, in some cases, people can have an intolerance to them, and some people might not want to add them to their diet for other reasons. However, the health risks that we thought were with artificial sweeteners are no longer an issue. So if you love soda but want to lose weight, try switching from a regular soda to diet soda. Drinking large amounts of regular soda has been shown to lead to weight gain in a variety of long health conditions because of all the sugar. And switching to diet can actually help you cut calories and shed some pounds. Diet soda is a sugar-free alternative to regular carbonated drinks with zero calories per serving. When you actually look at the nutritional value in a regular soda, in every regular can of soda, you're drinking about 100 to 150 calories and upwards of 30 grams of sugar. And I know some people are drinking maybe four to five cans of soda a day. So just imagine if you decided to drink diet soda or even just eliminate soda altogether and drink water, you can easily eliminate upwards of 500 to maybe even 1,000 calories per day with just that one switch. Number three is a vegetable called bok choy. Bok choy is a Chinese cabbage that's low in calories and high in fiber, making it one of the best foods for weight loss. It only has 13 calories for every 100 grams. It also contains vitamins A, C, and K. And because bok choy is also high in omega-3 fatty acids, you may want to add this to your diet if you don't eat a lot of fish because we get most of our omega-3s from fatty fish such as salmon. It also contains potassium, which is an electrolyte that helps maintain fluid balance within our bodies. Bok choy has a mild flavor, but can be cooked with other vegetables used as an alternative to lettuce. So usually a lot of Asian restaurants will use bok choy lettuce in their foods. Number two, is salad dressing, but in particular, it's Walden Farms dressing. So Walden Farms dressing has done something very unique with their salad dressings. All of their salad dressings are virtually zero calories and zero carbs. If you're trying to stay healthy, salads are one of the best things you can eat. It's low in calories and full of nutrients, but also really easy to ruin your salad by adding so much dressing. So don't make that mistake, okay? Dressings like ranch and Caesar are extremely high in calories because they're made with cream. Now these are okay, these dressings are okay in moderation, but you don't wanna be dousing all of your salads in these fatty dressings if your goal is weight loss. Walden's Forms dressings are very low in calories because they are made of mostly vinegar and herbs and spices with no added sugar or added fat. One serving of Walden's Farms dressing has zero calories and zero carbs, which means you can eat as much as you want without the fear of going over your calories. Now, before we mention number one, if you are a woman out there that wants to start working out and don't know where to start and you want some guidance, make sure you click the link in the bio and check out Fit Queen Team, which is our live training program. You can train with me and the Fit Queen Team right from home in your living room, all right? So if that sounds like something you wanna do, click the link in the bio. All right guys, number one and literally one of my fave things to eat when I have a sugar craving is sugar-free Jello. If you're trying to lose weight but you don't want to sacrifice taste, sugar-free Jello might be the snack for you. It tastes great, comes in all kinds of flavors and contains only about five calories per serving and zero sugar. 
Sugar-free Jello is the perfect way to satisfy that sweet tooth without having to worry about all the extra calories that come along with eating a whole bunch of sugar. You'll feel good about treating yourself without feeling guilty with all of the calories. Also, a little secret, use some sugar-free whipped cream on your Jello. Mm. It tastes so good. And there you have it, folks. Some of the most delicious foods that are almost completely calorie free. So, what do you think? What was your favorite food? Did we miss any other foods that have almost zero calories? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and like this video and share with a friend. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.